Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the bunk build. We are going to need a tape measure. As my assistant here is demonstrating, we are going to measure out how long our pieces are before we cut. This is really hard. There you go. You can do it. You can do it. I think you're going to do it. <laughs> Got my mobile workbench set up for all the wood cuts and a couple of scrap pieces and a couple of clamps to hold everything down. Especially the bigger pieces. The bigger pieces are harder to hold for one person, so clamps come in very handy. That's my serious face. That's what I look like. <laughs> the 10 inch compound power miter saw for all my cuts. All my wood is cut. I've used a belt sander to smooth out any divots, round edges, and smooth out corners. Next thing I'm gonna do is fill in any divots. I'm using a wood glue compound with sawdust. I'm gonna mix it together and I'm gonna fill in all of my divots. Just using a two inch plastic putty knife. Now I'm sanding off all of my excess dried glue and sawdust to smooth out all of my pieces. Real Milk Paint Citrus Solvent is a product I've used many times now and I've been extremely happy with. And as it claims, straight from the peel of an orange. Uh, it smells really good, but use it in a ventilated area because it is strong. It'll knock you off your feet. Also remember, safety first. Put some gloves on when you're handling this citrus solvent. All of these pieces have been cleaned up, but as you can see, some look drier than others. I'm gonna go ahead and give it about 20 minutes before I try and apply any paint. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Time to paint! My wife wanted white, so here we go. This is a paint primer all in one with two coats. sandpaper wrapped around your block of wood and go ahead and start sanding away. Get your wood nice and smooth before you apply your next coat. I've made some marks to drill for dowels and each mark is the center of the stud. I was really stoked right here because I found a way to clamp multiple pieces together. This way I could drill more than one at a time. Yeah. This is a costly mistake for me right here because I'm not using any type of guide to drill these dowel holes. And what's gonna happen is that when I drill, I'm gonna be at a slightly different angle than where I drill the next hole. And when my planks are lined up, they're not gonna be centered, they're gonna be off. So. Lesson learned, use a guide to drill holes for dowels. My dowels line up close enough so that I can stack two planks on top of each other, but when you look close up, they're not really aligned properly. Here are the pilot marks for my top rails. I put a flag on my drill bit and I've clamped down all of my pieces. Drill out all my holes at once. This piece looks like it'll need a little touch up, but these finishing lags will clean it up nicely. And that about does it for the wood prep. Next time, we'll actually put the bed together. Oh yeah, good times.
Thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.